Okay, so this is uh, yeah, quite something. I'm, I've lost track. But uh, we want uh, this speedboat uh, to collide uh, with the boat. So let's first move the boat into position so that we are able to see the collision. So right about here, the boat is hit. So I'll hit, I'll mark a keyframe for that. And uh, uh, before I mark the keyframe, I also need to parent this to a different object uh, so that I animate uh, the movement of that. I tie the movement of the boat uh, to that. Let me first remove those keyframes. Scale this up, scale this like that. Okay, make sure it's tied to the boat. Okay, so the boat should be parented to this. I want that. Okay. We have a side this, then select this, and then this. Control P. So now, let's mark keyframe here. And with that impact, uh, that means uh, the boat would be flying off to maybe this direction here. You see. And now the beauty of doing of working like this is that uh, now we can animate the rota just the rotation of the boat, the spin of the boat, uh, without worrying about, and uh, this. Just uh, the empty, we animate the empty, uh, the position with the empty, and then the spin of the boat uh, with uh, this, with the boat itself. So around here, maybe the, f the upward movement also can be done with the empty, like this. like that, and uh, when it comes to the rotations, uh, we can come to the boat, uh, start at a keyframe around there. So the next keyframe, so we can rotate this a few times like that. Perfect. Uh, but that is too fast, so we need to either redu reduce, increase the, the the distance between the keyframes, or just come in here and uh, look at the rotation keyframes for the bot. So let's examine this. So I think it's spinning too much, so we can reduce uh, the spin a bit. Now we need to spin it in different directions as well. So and uh, we need to reduce uh, the fall off that we're seeing here. So I will just examine one by one. So this we can turn into a vector so that the fall off is, is a bit like this. Uh -huh, perfect. Then same with Z with the Y. Convert this to a vector, and the fall off should be something like like this. Oh, good. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. I want it to be to still be in view. So for that, I just need to move uh, the position, the final position of of this. So I just bring it back to view. And uh,
okay it doesn't it should not curve like that so maybe it should be like and uh, of course the speedboat as well is not invisible so it should have it should be affected by the collision so at around there but uh, we should follow the same projectile so we select the speedboat the point of collision is there so we need to mark a keyframe for that as well and then it goes of course can push it up then give it a nasty rotation And I want it to keep bouncing because this is what uh, these kinds of boats, this kind of boats do. So let's examine the rotation. Now turn off all of these and just maintain the rotations. So this can be, we can pull them maybe the Z, the Y rotation, we can pull it. So it should do a few spins. Huh. And uh, so let let us get the z direction of this object of the of the bot. So let's see. Let's go to z global. So let's turn off everything, and I want it to start bouncing a few times. So here, that's the first bounce, so let's look at the Z direction. So we want it to continue bouncing like we did in the ball example. So I'll just create that pattern. So I think that shouldn't be the, the the highest point. Can be there, then there, then there until it comes to a standstill. Then let's see. So we just need to increase the the speed of this. <coughs> So the final position of this should be a bit further, maybe like that. So I'll end part, this part here, and I'll uh, we'll continue uh, editing that animation, and uh, yeah.